to wear a mask or not to wear a mask? That is the question. When the COVID-19 pandemic started, experts did not recommend wearing masks for several reasons. First, it was assumed that only people with COVID-19 symptoms should wear masks, because that's how they reduce the risk of infecting others around them. The second reason why wearing masks was not recommended was because there was, and there still is, a shortage of masks, which are needed most by health workers who are in the front line taking care of COVID-19 patients. And most importantly, back then, we didn't know much about the coronavirus and the COVID-19 disease, how they behave, and what happens when you get infected. This position, however, changed a few months into the pandemic. We learned a great deal about face masks and about the virus itself. Experts then began recommending wearing masks. It also became clear that you could be infected with the coronavirus and not show any symptoms. After infection, it would take at least five days to show the first signs of the disease. If you continue moving around during these five days and without wearing masks, you will transmit the coronavirus to other people around you. Even talking can release droplets that carry the coronavirus and can keep it suspended in air for up to 14 minutes. In addition to that, when researchers looked into communities where people regularly wear face masks, they found lower number of COVID-19 cases, which means face masks may have played a role in reducing community transmission of the virus. In other words, when you put all of this together, wearing a face mask is highly recommended, especially that most countries have now reopened and are allowing people to go back to work and to meet others in public. Unfortunately, there are a number of wrong practices that people do when wearing their face masks. For example, not covering their nose, which is one of the main entry points for the coronavirus into your lungs. Did you also notice that people keep touching their masks very often? This goes against the findings of a study that showed the coronavirus can remain viable in the outer layer of surgical masks for up to seven days. So touching the outer layer of your mask will only increase your chances of getting infected. Sometimes people wear disposable surgical masks, but treat them as non-disposable. They put them in their pockets or keep them suspended under their chins. Or they reuse them over and over again. Remember, this increases the chances of getting infected with the coronavirus. If you're wearing a disposable mask, then dispose it properly. Many people are now careless. They throw their disposable masks everywhere parks, public transport, shops, and sidewalks, this can spread the coronavirus infection in your community because anyone who picks up the mask is likely to get infected. So make sure to dispose your masks properly. Because of the shortage of masks, access to disposable masks is still limited, which is why many people are now recommended to make their own masks at home. It's important when you make your own masks that you fold the material at least one time to enhance the protection. If you can't make your own masks by yourself, then you can easily buy them from your local tailors, who by now must have already started selling them. These masks, which are made of several layers of clothes, can be reused multiple times. You can take them off and you wash them right away. Their small size allows them to be washed and dried with minimal effort. It is hard to tell how protective these cloth-based masks, but one study showed that adding one layer of nylon stockings can enhance your mask's ability to filter the small particles in the air. By adding this layer, it can create a tighter seal that enhances your mask's protection by up to 50%. When you wear a mask, do not rely on it for full protection. It remains important to practice social distancing and hand hygiene. 
your mask is meant to complement these two practices. It's not meant to replace them.